Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I grew up in Chicago and I uh, was a police officer in Illinois for a few years. Came out here to Vegas. Been out here for the past few years. It's always funny calling back home to my police buddies, exchanging stories about some of the wild things that, that happen out here in this city. I just received dispatch uh, to a call where uh, an individual is inside the store, actually inside a fast food restaurant, behaving erratically, yelling at customers, yelling at the manager, trying to start fights with people. So we're really not far from that call right now. Please be advised that we got another call referencing your subject. He's possibly naked uh, and running around the business, possibly on 443. I'm 43 copy, and I'm about 30 seconds out. Okay, we just received an update from dispatch that this guy is naked now inside the fast food restaurant. Four, 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 four. And uh, pushing customers around, so uh, we are arriving on this call right now. It's supposed to be right inside this fast food place. Like right. Where is this guy? Where is he? Where is he? Put your smoke out. What? Oh. You gotta me. Drop your smoke. Drop your smoke. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground now. Peace for mankind. Peace for America! Peace! ACLU! 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 You hurt my shoulder! Control 3 or 43. Can you get me down? Okay, okay. My shoulder. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. Put your hand behind your back. Stop resisting. I won't resist. Please. Please. Oh! Put your hand behind your back. Okay. I can't. My shoulder. Oh, it's been tore off. Oh, no. Who's got? 3-0-43. Code 4 got one in custody here. You can lift any red. You give me some volunteers from all these people all right. that saw him acting completely crazy. I almost tased him. Figured I'd just go hands on him with it real quick, so took him to the ground. Okay, let's, let's sit him up. Let's sit him up. Hey, listen to me. Yep. Listen to me, okay? We're gonna get you up yes, right sir. now. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, We're gonna get you up. You're acting completely out of control. He took I his clothes off. I haven't taken a shower in three days. Okay, get, him, get this on. Get this on. Oh, stand up. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna need you guys to fill out a statement for me if you wouldn't mind here in a minute. Yeah, I'll press charges on nobody else. Thanks, we need it. we're gonna need a statement for sure. Peace Walker. Oh, outstanding. Peace Walker! Okay, Michael. Peace for mankind! Sir, Peace so what exactly happened here earlier? I mean, I saw him acting very bizarre. What, what, what did he do to you? Well, I come in to get something to eat, and he started threatening me, got in my face, started putting his finger in my face, and then he started, then, he, then he had the nerve to call me George Bush, and that's when I really thought it was, that was too far. Okay, and then what would he do? So he did, he did that, and then he, did he, did he Try to throw a punch at you? What did, he, what did he do? He came close. I mean, his finger was right in my face. He, he, I thought he was going to touch me. I, if okay. he'd have touched me, I don't know what I'd have done. Because I was looking at the, I was looking at the child seats, and I know they're heavy wood, and, and I could swing one pretty good. Uh -huh. Then he threw a soda, and it hit this lady here and him. And I don't know what he had been doing to the other people. When I walked in, he was already ranting. And was, he, was he trying to throw the soda at you, and it actually I, yeah, hit her? Yeah. OK. It won't take long. If you just stand up in the front of my car, I'll get you the paperwork to fill out and the pens and everything like that, and then I'll have you on your way shortly, no okay? Problem. Okay, great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.
I pulled the taser out, so let's get down on the ground. He's got his shirt off, and he takes this weird attack posture stance towards me. I tell him to put his cigarette out because he's smoking inside the business, and he flicks it at me. And that's why, that way I just holstered up the taser and thought, instead of tasing him in front of all these people here in the, in the restaurant, I just go hands on with him. So I just quick spun him around, leg trip, down to the ground, got his hands, put him in handcuffs. That was it. So, anyhow. Did you want to say something to me, sir? Well, I just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart, officer. I acted uh, really out of character. I'm exhausted from my peace walk across the country. I came home to Las Vegas, and I came to home to a bad reception by my family. And I thought it would be a happy occasion, but my ex-wife had me tra trespassed because I was waiting for my son, Steve, yes. to come home from work. I understand that you've got some personal issues that you're dealing with, and that's probably what, you know, what inspired your behavior inside there. I'm awful, son. However, I, I, I appreciate that. You made me, listen to me, listen to me. You, you, made, you made me do what I had to do in there. You really gave me no choice. And I appreciate what you're saying right now. Hey, you made a pretty good move there. It hurt, really. Well, I wasn't trying to hurt you, sir. I was just trying to take you down into custody. I know, and, you're a lot smaller than you. And get, and get you under control. I may be a little smaller, but I've got some skills. You okay. do have skills. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you're going to be going to jail. You're going to be going to jail uh, on the assault well, on myself. OK. Secondly, what precipitated all that was when you went inside and started in with the, with the man initially and challenged him and went off and threw a drink at him and challenged him to a fight and put your finger in his face and all that other stuff, okay? And then it the drink that you threw wound up hitting a lady who wasn't even involved in anything. And that completely you know, ruined her night. So those are the things that are on your plate right now. You're going to get yourself a shower. You're going to get cleaned up. You're going to get a meal. And you're going to be able to get your thoughts together, okay? All right, you got to think about dealing dealing with things and your stresses in your life in a little more positive way. That okay. way you're not going to have contact with us anymore. You understand? Okay. And right now we're going to attempt to do a traffic stop on this vehicle. It's got a uh, equipment violation on a cracked tail light. Um, we had a previous call reference or robbery with the same type of vehicle. I'm not sure if it's going to be or not. Hey, Alpha 4-9. I like to be on a tan Mercury marquee. How you doing? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Not too bad. You got your license registration insurance? Sure. The reason why I stopped in today, you got that cracked tail light. Oh, I do? Whose vehicle is this? Uh, excuse me? Whose vehicle? Whose vehicle? This one? Yeah. I have no idea. It's my niece's car. What's your niece's name? I think it's uh, Edna. That's your niece? Yeah. You think that's her name? No, that's her name. Oh, See, okay. I think the car's under her name. Oh, okay. Edna. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got your driver's yeah. license? How about your passengers? They got ID on them? No, not mine. Do I have yours? No? She's the one that owns the car back there. That's Edna there? Yeah. You got your ID with you? Oh, yeah, she's right here. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Where are you all headed today? Right now, I just came from a friend's house. We were watching a baseball game, and I'm just at home. Okay, you all live together? No, she lives, uh, she lives down the street from us on Barbara. This is your car? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And are, you're related to him? No. You're not related to him? No, he's my uncle. So you are related yeah. to him? Yes. Okay, you just said no. <laughs> okay. So yes, you are yeah. related? We're related. Okay. Why did you say no the first time I asked you? I didn't understand what you had told me. Oh, okay. Asked. That's actually my wife. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's actually my wife, okay? So we're gonna be honest. I'm not gonna beat around the bush and lie. You know, cause I got nervous. So that's why 
yes, you're related, no, right, you're related, right, yeah. you're my uncle, no, you're not. Right. So actually... She's my wife. Okay. But not legally married, but He's we live so together. So you two have been together. Do you have a, you have a child in common? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the child you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. They're pretty much husband and wife. They have a child in common. It's not his niece. Yeah, because I don't want to. It's... Yeah. Okay. He was nervous. Church, can you step out of the vehicle for a second? Okay. For some reason, I can't locate any identification card um, for you. Why is that? Um, that's why I'm asking you. I don't know why. I'm just why. It's my name. I'm data clerk. Okay. I'll give you my address. Okay. But like I said, uh, we have a we have a database that when we search it, when we do a search of a name, mm -hmm. it will let us know if there's an identification card or or the driver's license. My name is Maria. I'm very sorry. I really am. This doesn't make no sense. We're not getting nowhere. What's your date of birth? I guess we all just got nervous. What's um, your date of birth? Six, seven. Six, seven? Yeah. Okay. Why'd you give me a false name? Because I, I don't know. Just scared. Why? What, what would make because you scared? Because I missed a court date for a ticket, and I was scared to get my name because I was scared I might get When was your court date? Um, December. Okay. What I'm going to have you do right now is I'm going to have you just have a seat in the back of the car, um, and we're going to research it and to see if you have one, okay? This officer right here is going to have you have a seat in the back of the car here for just for a second, okay? Can you step out of the vehicle, one, please. Sure. Okay, just do me a favor and turn around right here. Can I ask you why, sir? You just do me a favor and I'll explain I talk it. to you one minute. Though? I'll explain to you in a minute, okay? okay? I just want to talk to you for a second. Okay. It's information you can use. Okay, okay. that's okay. fine. All right. Wanna... All right, turn around okay. for me. All right, James, behind your back. Can I give that to her? Let her take yeah, it? Yeah, we'll just leave it right here. Okay. Go ahead and walk up here the back in front of this car real quick. The reason why you're being placed under arrest is because your license is suspended and you know it. I, 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 honest to God, I told her that I did not know. Okay, you were, you for a okay, minute, you, please. okay in a second. Okay. okay. You were given a court order on December 17th, given by a judge for your license being suspended. On for the 17th? On the 17th of December for your child, for not paying child support. No, I paid child support. Matter of fact, I got the receipt in my wallet right now. Okay. That's been taken care of. Okay. Honest to God, I made a payment of almost fifteen hundred dollars in one whack, and I got the I got the receipt in my wallet. Okay, we'll but get can that. Can I give you some? If you okay. if I give you some information, okay. will you please give me a chance, sir, okay. and I'll G go. Give me a second. I'm gonna put you in the back seat. And I'll come back I and talk to you. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah, if you want to look, it's in my it's okay. in my wallet. I got the receipt and everything for it. I know. I know my shoulders killing me, man. No, I can't. Go ahead. We've done a first initial search of the vehicle, and here we've got a, a pill bottle that was stashed underneath the dash that belongs to the driver. He's got several different multi-type of, of pills in here. Okay, you understand why Maria's going, right? No, I, that's what I was asking. All right, Maria's got three warrants. Uh -huh. She's also being charged with giving false name to a law enforcement officer uh -huh. when she first initially gave us Trisha, uh -huh. okay? And, right. and Eddie's being charged with what? He's got his license is suspended, suspended as well as of possession that. of controlled substance. Okay. okay. Is that is that that's felony? Yeah. She gets to go home tonight. Why these two here get to go down to the jail? When I first started working here, I worked graveyard, and it's so hot at night that it feels like it's daytime. And that is when a lot of criminals like to go into gear. I think heat makes people more irritable. And if that's one thing we see, as soon as it starts getting hot here, the cost for service almost double. Pearl 384, I'm at uh, Lake Mead in Ellis now. I'll go out with him. OK, copy. Three George, disregard. Three easy for him. OK, we got it. Okay. We're going to do a car stop on a car that looks like it's pretty beat up. A lot of these cars don't have insurance or anything like that. But uh, it's probably just looks like some traffic stuff. Huh? Three frame 15, four, six, seven. 
15. Nevada will be at Pecos and Osage. Copy. She got tape holding on tape. How you doing? I pulled you over for a couple of reasons. Well, I know, the back end of the car. Yeah, the I'm back end. Um, oh, you're trying to get her to work? Yes. Is this your car? No, this is Carlos' car. Who? Carlos. Is there any reason you have your seatbelt on? Oh, I was in a hurry. Does it have seatbelts? Yes, it does. Did it, was this originally a convertible or is Carlos making no, this a convertible? Carlos is making it a convertible. This is the Carlos project here? Yes, this is the Carlos project. It, do you have any um, registration. registration, insurance, and all that good stuff in your license? You know what? Why don't you do this? You look for the insurance and registration, and you just get your license and come back here real quick. What's Carlos to you? What's going on right here? Just a friend. Oh, really? Yeah, he's just going to Just stand right here for me real quick. No, front, in the front. Front, front, front. He's just going to work the doors. Right over here. To be his friend. Okay, so your license is good and everything's legit except for the equipment stuff no, on the my car. My license is suspended and I have two traffic ones. Really? So how come you're driving? She needs to get to work and she has a baby to raise. And what, is she to, what is she to you? She is my best friend's niece. She lives, I live with them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Have you been arrested for anything before? I've been arrested for traffic ones. Anything else? No. And do you know what the bail is? No, I take that back. I had a warrant for possession of marijuana, and I that's why I got arrested and my warrants. OK. It was taken care of. If you're honest with me, I will be very, very fair with you. But if you lie to me, then I'm just going to treat you like anybody else. I don't know OK? What when was the last time you did speed? Look oh, at me. Look yesterday? at me. At what time? Oh, about early morning. You smoke it? I like to control. You don't smoke it? No, I smoke it. Open your mouth. Go ha. Ah. I got when was the last time you smoked? I smoked cigarettes. When was the last time you smoked speed? Uh, Look at me. I don't remember, really. Well, That's who should I ask? You eat it, too. So is that why your inside mouth is all jacked up and everything? So, but think about what we're talking about right now. Your license is messed up, this car is falling apart, and you're under the influence of methamphetamines and driving through a school zone. OK, well, we just named, I named about 90% of the things that's going wrong with this stop right now. While I'm running you, I want you to think about what it is that you would want me to do that could make your life and everyone else's life better, okay? Think about it. We got this car that we just pulled over that's basically falling apart, and as soon as I started talking to the girl, I noticed that she had a lot of um, indicators of being under the influence of um, methamphetamines, and a lot of people can't notice them, but since I deal in, in an area that has a lot of speed, I know. And then there's a dilemma that comes into play. She was honest with me, and um, obviously if she could stop doing drugs, she would, she would want to. So what I'm thinking about right now is what's the, the fairest way to do my job to the best and, and help this person who's also a citizen. What time do you have to be to work? In five minutes, you got to be there? 34, did you copy the trigger? All right, do me a favor. This is kind of weird, but she's got to be to work in five minutes right up the street. Could you just drop her off at work so we're not making her no late for work? No Thanks. Problem. Listen, I'm going to let Hex him to take you to work, and I'll just deal with her separately, OK? Sorry, Mr. If she goes to Joey, let me know so I can call. I'll, take, I'll figure it out right now. I'll I just want to make sure you get to work, OK? I already told you that car's being towed, right? I understood that. Yes. You know you don't need to be on the road right now. Right now, you need to reflect on everything that's happening to you. What is this? Who's the dare graduate? Pardon me, my son. Your kid's a dare graduate, but yes, you could, yes. but you use. Do you, do you ever listen to some of the stuff he talks to you talks about? Yes. And does it make any sense to you? Yes, it does make sense to me. What are these things? Eight things to say no. You carry this with you and. Do you know what these I eight don't, things are? I one day I'll get the strength to quit. 
I hope that you do. And I'm not really, honestly, I'm not trying to come down on you hard. I want to see you do better. If it was the case, I could throw you in the back of the car, have your friends sit there and do everything to you. I really want to see you succeed. What are the eight things it says to say no? Do you, you know, you don't because you're not really paying that much attention to it. Why don't you read that? No, read it to me. Oh, saying no thanks, giving no reason or excuse. Respected refusal to keep saying no. Broken record, walk away, changing the subject, avoiding the situation, a cold shoulder, strengthening the list. Do any of those things make sense? All of them do. Well, how about you mark today as, as a new day to start towards positivity? We're going to get rid of this old trashy car, you had it towed, and you start dealing with your kids and life in a different way, okay? Is that fair? You are going to get some tickets, though. That's fair. You're going to take care of the other stuff, and you're going to walk. You're going to that long walk, and then you take care of what you got to do, all right? OK? Thank you. You're welcome. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. OK, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get 2514. Can't transmit on tech 2. OK, we'll still send a code 3. 